With our JSON server now set up, for our first topic, let's talk about caching data in a Next.js application. The behavior is best understood with an example, so let's dive into the code straight away. When we visit localhost 3001 slash products, we get back a list of three products. We also see the request received log statement in the terminal. Let's fetch and display this list of products in the Next.js page component. Within source, within app, create products slash page dot tsx. Use the pieces explorer extension to insert a Next.js page component. Let's rename the component to products page. At the top, let's define the type of a product. So type product. And you can see we have ID of type number, title of type string, price of type number, and description of type string for different properties. Next, let's fetch the data in the component. This is very similar to the user's component data fetching, which we had a look at a few videos ago. Begin by adding the async keyword to the function. Then within the component, make a fetch request to the JSON server products endpoint. Const response is equal to await fetch. Copy the URL localhost 3001 slash products. Convert the response to JSON. Const products is equal to await response.json. The JSX, we're going to use the map method to bind the product information and use Tailwind CSS classes to make it look pretty. I'm going to copy paste the code to save us some time. So products.map, where each product is of type product, and we bind the product title, description, and price, and use ID as part of the key prop on the list item. If we now head back to the browser and visit localhost 3000 slash products, we should see the UI rendering the product information. Our products route is working as expected. Now product information like pricing, for example, can change often. Let's go back to our db.json file and make a change. Product one price from 800 to 700. Now, if we restart the JSON server, so node server, and refresh localhost 3001 slash products, we see the updated price reflecting in the API endpoint, 700. Let's now go to our Next.js application and refresh the route. When I refresh, you can see that the product price is still $800. You can refresh as many times as you want to, but it remains 800. Our Next.js app is running, but the data just doesn't update. You see, Next.js extends the native fetch API and automatically caches the return values of fetch. This caching improves performance and reduces costs. Specifically, the initial data fetched from the JSON server, price of 800, is stored in what is called a data cache on the server and reused for every subsequent request. This eliminates the need to repeatedly query our JSON server. The fact that there is only one request received log statement confirms this default caching behavior of Next.js. And this is the first data fetching concept I wanted to discuss. By default, Next.js automatically caches the return values of fetch in the data cache on the server. Join me in the next video where we will understand more about this data cache. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.